I am Lyra. I am Anjali. Today we are going to show you activities on how to separate mixtures. Mixture are infused substances in which two or more constituents are combined in any proportion. Since constituents are not chemically combined, we can easily separate the mixture that is two or more constituents using different physical methods. So we have differ different kinds of mixtures. Solid liquid mixtures can be homogeneous and heterogeneous. Similarly, we have liquid liquid mixtures. Again, they can be homogeneous and heter heterogeneous mixtures. heterogeneous example. Why? Because in one part, we have a chalk piece and other part, we don't have it. So, it does not have the same composition. How do we separate it? Easy! We can just hand pick an object and ta-da! I got it! I have crushed the chalk into powder and added it to the bowl of water. And As we did it, notice that the chalk piece is settled at the bottom of the chalk. There you can pour the clear water at the into the bottle, into our bottle. In this case, we have separated the chalk powder from the water using the process of gravitation and sedimentation. By the force of gravity settling down of the insoluble solid, which is the sediment. The pouring out of the water into another vessel is called decantation. In this second case, we de with the decantation, we separated the insoluble solid from the liquid. This is the third of PVK for today. Another way to separate solid from liquid. An example, a powdered chalk dissolved in water. We have a funnel and the filter paper is attached. Let us see what happens. We will transfer the content of the bottle in another bottle and observe the filter paper. powder is settled at the bottom. So this is the process known as filtration. In this case, we take a filter paper and funnel to separate insoluble solids. We have shown you methods such as hand picking, decantation, and filtration. Our next will be evaporation. Evaporation is the process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas or vapor. Evaporation is the primary pathway that water moves from the liquid state back into the water cycle as atmospheric water vapor.
distillation. Distillation is the process of separating components or substances from a liquid mixture by using selective boiling and condensation. Distillation may be result in, in essentially complete separation or it may be a partial separation that increases the concentration of selected components in the mixture. We already know that a mixture can be separated into its constituent components by various different techniques. Let us now discuss these techniques one by one and see how they can be employed for the separation of a mixture's components. Let us learn about evaporation in this module. This process can be employed for separating the components of a mixture where one component is volatile and the other is non-volatile. Let us see an example to understand this better. The colored component or the dye can be obtained from blue or black colored ink by the process of evaporation. This is because ink is a homogeneous mixture of dye in water where water, the solvent, is a volatile component and dye, the solute, is a non-volatile component. But what actually is the procedure for separating the dye? Well, here it is. First, put a few drops of blue or black colored ink on a watch glass. Now, place this watch glass on the mouth of a beaker half filled with water. And then, heat the water in the beaker. The steam thus formed will heat up the ink. The water present in the ink evaporates and ultimately a blue or black residue is left on the watch glass. This is the dye. This technique of evaporation finds application in separation of non-volatile components dissolved in volatile solvents. Therefore, common salt is also separated from the sea using this method.